The moment foiling began, they realized that the reflexes are a bit more important in that instinct and in growing up sailing fast boats. Different sizes for different wind speeds. The bigger the wing, the more power, the bigger your jumps. The cool thing about it is, is that you can spend as much or as little as you want and have a lot of fun. The Olympic campaign shut. Sail GP stopped because of COVID. The announcement today, the postponement of the 2020 season. We don't have access to the boats right now. And I am a person who just needs to be on the water at least five times a week, otherwise I go insane. Thankfully, I met a couple of people just before the lockdown began and they were into foiling windsurfing. And it's, um, it's right up my alley. You know, it foils, it's difficult, it's fast. And it's very similar to the moth class, which is this really cool development class that really pushed foiling into sailing. You know, you're standing on the board, you, everything is connected between your hands on the boom and your feet on the board, and it's all very low tech. You know, there's no computer assistance, it's just you and the equipment and just go and make it happen. Rock just didn't do it up nice and tight. So the way that the foiling works on these boards is that you've got the front wing here which generates all the lift. And then we've got the, t the stabiliser which does what it says, it stabilises it. So you're getting lift here and this is actually sucking, it's doing the opposite. So they kind of fight each other a bit and that's how you get stability. What everyone's loving about the winging is that it's simple, it's quick, you know, to set up to get on the water, and it's just a lot of fun. I got a call from Slingsby this morning saying he wants some gear, can I line up a deal for him? And I know Tom Johnson's really into it at the moment. Kyle Langford's got some gear, Phil Robertson's got some gear, Ian Jensen's got some gear. It's really taking off. At some point I'm gonna have to go back to a real job and I won't have time for this anymore. So I'm making the most of it, particularly with the second baby on the way, I know I'm going to have no time for that. You know, I've become slightly obsessed with it. I think it is definitely going to help me in the long run, you know, for when I get back into racing. If I had have sat all year round doing nothing, having a new skill to learn, I think as you get older, you, you feel like you kind of know everything. So always challenging yourself with new skills is really important. And it's been quite humbling. It's interesting, I've seen a lot of other people in this time where they're, they're stuck in their countries and can't travel and can't go and race, buying very similar equipment, doing similar things, and there's plenty of online banter about who's going to be the best when we get to bring all our toys to the next RGP event.